Hello guys, welcome to Linux Art. In this video, I want to show you how to turn this XFCE desktop into this beauty here. Because in my opinion, XFCE is one of the underdog desktops in the Linux world, but is also very, very strong in many things. It is very performant, it is high functional, it has a great stability. It has further active development, which is really important. Also regarding Wayland, for example. So if you didn't try out XFCE for many years or you didn't try out XFCE at all, then I can really recommend you. And if you want to install XFCE on your current Linux distribution, on all Ubuntu based distributions, you can do this with the command sudo apt install XFCE4. And if you want XFCE4 goodies and then you have an XFCE desktop and then on your login screen, you can then choose here at the icon, starting your next user session in XFCE and then you're getting such a vanilla XFCE desktop and with that restart right through. At first we have to download an icon theme, a GTK theme and also I show you where I got the background image. I got the background image from unsplash.com because unsplash.com is a really great website where you can get free photos, illustrations and so on. Also they have a huge wallpaper section. This isn't sponsored in any way but I really like this website. I'm heading to this here. Of course I put you all the important links into the video description and I download this here. Then let's get us to our icon themes. There are very cool sites out there. One of the famous ones is gnomelook.org. It is a Pling project I guess and if we have a look at gnomelook.org we also see an XFCE and yeah here you can get very cool icon themes, window manager themes and so on for adjusting your desktop. Today we are going with the Tila icon theme and with this I select download and select the 01 Tila.starxc. You can also get some other colors if you want. Then we need a GTK theme and for that I'm heading to gnomelook.org because XFCE apps are highly compatible with the GNOME universe because yeah it is using GTK in the background. Unlike KDE apps, KDE apps are using Qt instead. Here at gnomelook.org I have a look at GTK 3-4 themes and here you see so many different themes. Just have a look if you want. I'm going today with the Windows 11 GTK theme here and I hit download here and hit Windows 11 Round Dark Compact. I chose this one, but of course uh, you are completely free to choose the icon and GTK theme you want, of course. In the next step, we open up our file manager and go into the downloads. Let us just install the both archives here. One is the icon theme, one is the window theme. And at first I'm pressing F3 to get a to list mode here and then go once up here. And then I'm back into my home folder. Then I'm pressing Control H to show all hidden folders. And then let's create some two new folders if they don't exist yet. Right click the background here and hit create new folder. The first folder name called icons uh, like this. It has to be exactly written like this and, and then I'm also creating another folder called dot themes. Perfect. Now I uh, right click the Tila icon theme and hit extract here. Then it is extracting the archive here into the downloads folder. Um, here we are and then we can move all these folders into our icons folder. How do I know that? That I can move these folders because if we go inside then we see this index.theme file. Yeah, this makes me confident that these all three folders which are including one index.theme file can move to dot icons like this. In the end, let us go to the parent folder here and let's um, redo the thing with the GTK theme here. I hit extract here and then I double click it and then we see, ah, okay, here we have our index.theme file. So we could just go with this folder and move it to the themes folder inside here. Now we have installed all themes. If you want, you could um, put your 
um, image to the uh, pictures folder. This is it for installing the new appearances. So now we have to rearrange our XFCE desktop and apply all themes. Let's start with the background image. You can do this very easily by right clicking this image here and then hit set as wallpaper. Now I can close my file manager here and we head over to applications and hit settings here. Then we search for the appearance module. Here we select appearance and here I select for style our GTK theme we downloaded also in icons I set it to Tila here and now we have very fresh new icons here. You could also adjust fonts and some other settings. I close this appearance window here and I head over to the applications menu here and hit settings again and then I'm choosing the window manager and in the window manager I also select here the theme Windows 11 round deck compact and then we have fully applied our theme settings. Very nice. In our next step, we have to rearrange our XFCE desktop. Let's just start removing these uh, three icons here. If you want, of course, you can keep it, but I don't want these displayed here. So I right click the background here and hit desktop settings. Here inside desktop settings, I hit icons and then I can make it a bit larger. Here we see our default icons. I disable all of these icons. This is completely depending on you. What you want to have shown on your desktop, I personally keep this clear. And then let us rearrange all the panels here. At first, let us head over to our workspace panel. I personally remove this workspace panel because I'm not really into workspaces. You have four workspaces to work with by default, but of course, in the workspace settings, you can choose as many workspaces you want. This is very cool, but I'm not using them today. So I right click this workspace switcher and hit remove here. And then I confirm that removal here and then this is gone. The same with my username here in the end. If we click on that, we have a small menu to shut down the computer. Very neat, very handy if you want it. But personally, I'm not into using this um, shutdown functionality. So I right click this and remove it again and hit remove here. Then I want to remove this whole panel here in the bottom because I want to create it completely up from scratch with you and for that I right click this panel here and hit panel and then panel preferences and then we have here our panel 2 selected with this red line around it and then I can hit here the minus button and then confirm the removal here of this panel. Perfect. And I would say let's just recreate this panel here. So I hit plus and then we have a new panel here. We can move it around. I put it to the center of the screen. You see it is locking in at a specific position as you see. This is marking the center of the screen. So let's make sure we snapped it here to the bottom uh, center and uh, then I choose lock panel here, then we can't move it again. <laughs> That's very important for us. And then I can also choose the automatically hide feature and I set it to intelligently. And then we go to appearance. If you want, you could change the appearance here. I personally like the default appearance here. Otherwise you could just play around with this panel appearance. What I want is to go to items and add a few items here into our panel and I hit add here and at the first point I'm going with the whisker menu. This is a highly customizable menu explicitly written for XFCE. Great menu what I could really recommend. So I just double click it. So if you click on this menu here, yeah, you see I kind of need menu, but I want also to do some preferences in this menu. So I select this menu here and hit the edit icon here. And then we are in the whisker menu settings. Here I select show as icons, then our search results are shown as icons. And then I set the background opacity to about 90%. Then we have kind of a transparent look. I really like this here. And then we head over to appearance. And here in appearance, I select 
position categories horizontally. Then we have just some neat looking icons for our categories where we can switch between them. And I also select position categories next to the panel button. Um, so these um, categories are at the downside of this menu, what I really like here. And then I also want the commands next to the search entry. The commands are these three buttons here. So I check this one and then we have the search bar and the commands in a same line. Because this profile I want to hide in the menu. So here under profile I select hidden and then our menu is looking quite neat. One thing I also want to adjust at this side is the icon. I click on this icon here and then you can search for whatever icon you want. You could also choose an own image if you want, but I'm going with the Debian emblem here because yeah, this is a Debian what I'm using here, but yeah, you are completely free to choose what you want. And so I'm going with this emblem Debian here and hit OK. Then I'm going to behavior and here in behavior we could change some default behavior for the menu of course. What I'm selecting is switch categories by hovering. I really like this. And then if we hover our mouse around the menu here, then the categories are really quick changing here. I really like this design and we have a big search field where we can search for, for whatever we want. Now we come to the comment section here on the right. If you want, you could deselect some things. I personally deselect the settings manager here. Um, so I don't need the settings manager as a specific button. But if you want, of course, you could leave it. I'm also deselecting the lock screen here. Additionally to the lockout screen, I'm selecting the shutdown command here. And then I have one shutdown command and the lockout window as we see it here, but also a very quick shutdown button. This is it for our commands. Also, you could define some search action so this is it to our menu. Here we have our old menu. So I right click this applications menu here and hit remove from the applications menu here. Perfect. And then we right click these three dots here. I right click this and hit properties. These are the window buttons. As you see it here, it's the we are window list. And what I personally do is to hide this description of this window button. And so I deselect show button labels. And then yeah, we have a kind of a window seven like behavior for the window buttons. One thing I just want to make sure this is the middle click action. If I do the middle click on such an icon, I want to close its window, just select the middle click action you want. I personally find this very, very useful here. And in the end, I highly recommend you to disable this show handle. These are these three small signs here at the very left side. I disable this show handle and then this is looking yeah, quite neat for my usage behavior. And this is it for the window buttons. Now I right click this panel again here, select panel and hit panel preferences. Here I personally grow the row size to about 32 pixels. This is enough. And then we have a better look about our open windows here. And also the right side is a bit bigger in the end. In the end, I want some quick start buttons, for example, for the file manager, for the web browser and so on. And for that, I'm selecting the menu here and then I'm going to the internet here and then I right click this internet browser, Firefox in this case, and select add to panel. And then we can add it to a specific panel. I want to add it to panel two. So down here, I hit add and then we have a really quick um, startup button here for every new Firefox instance. I really like this and um, that these uh, starter buttons and the open windows are separated. Let's continue with them, some other default applications. What also should be in this favorite bar here is our file manager. So I right click this file manager here and hit add to panel here. So I select panel two again hit add and then we have our file manager. Maybe I want to move the file manager to the left side. Um, so I right click this file manager, hit move here and then you see the red bar here. So I move my mouse between these both icons here. Do a 
single left click here and then the positions are changed at this point. So I just want to add some further things. I have LibreOffice for example installed so I right click LibreOffice Writer and also add this to the panel here, um, select panel two and hit add here. And now we have yeah, some default applications. Of course, these could be more favorite applications you want to place down here, for example, the terminal. And this is a very easy and also very personalized Linux desktop you could use. One thing in the end, if you want to press your super or windows key, then you see there isn't any menu opening. And this is because, yeah, it isn't <laughs> turned on by default. So we have to configure this. I open up the menu here and search for keyboard here. Perfect. And here in keyboard, I go to application shortcuts, select add, and then type in XFCE for pop-up whisker menu. Just like this, I put you the command down into the video description. I hit OK here and press super again and hit close. And then, yeah, everything's working as expected. And uh, we have our menu very quickly opened um, by pressing this super key here. And in the end, if you are missing a very quick file search on your desktop, um, it's completely irrelevant to which Linux distribution you are using. Just have a look at Linux Assistant, the open source program developed by me. It's completely free and open source. I just downloaded this uh, DEB file here and I install this DEB file here because I'm on Debian. I right click the file manager here, select open terminal terminal here and then I type in sudo apt install dot slash Linux assistant. You could also autocomplete with the tab key here of course. I press enter and type in my password, type enter again and after quick time this has been finished and then I open up my applications menu, search for Linux Assistant. Here we have it. Of course, if you want, you could add it, for example, to the favorites of this menu here. And then we have our Linux Assistant here. I hit next. I hit let's start again. And then it has a really quick folder search. It's search it searches through all your personal folders, completely locally, of course, and then you can very easily um, yeah, search for every download folder you have inside here. Of course, you could also change the theming here, go to settings, appearance settings, and then for example, the colorful background on or off, also the dark theme here, and you could also um, set some colors here if you want. But what I want to show you also, the first steps after installation are great, just do them if you want, um, but I want to set a keyboard shortcut because Linux Assistant is also automatically doing this on your desktop. So I search for keyboard, then I see here the Linux Assistant keyboard shortcut, I select yes, setup hotkey, and then this is finished. And if everything's worked, press super and Q, then you have the Linux assistant open. Of course, if you want another shortcut, just search for keyboard again in the menu and um, go to application shortcuts. Here you now also find the Linux assistant and here you could also change the um, shortcut, of course. Now you have a very quick folder search. Also, it searches for recent files, browser bookmarks, and so on. There's a ton of different entries, also software, of course. You could very easily search, for example, if you want to install HTOP, just search for HTOP. Okay, HTOP is just installed, but you could also uninstall it if you want. There's just a new version out. Just have a look. It's a great tool and of course, completely free and open source. So this is it to this video. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. This was it for today. See you in the next one. Bye.